It is behind a boom in business for two ice cream shops in Colorado Springs. News 5's Alan Sheehan shows us how they're recovering from what they say was a slow start to their busiest season. Colorado Springs Ice Cream Shop says as the temperature increases, so does the number of people looking to cool down with a frozen treat. Bill and Laura Schaffner have been enjoying ice cream at BJ's Velvet Freeze for 30 years. My wife always gets the blueberry sundae and, got and I always get, chocolate, get the chocolate malt. The Schaffners were craving a cold treat during this hot week. They wanted to beat the crowd to their scoops of ice cream. I was just hungry for it. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it's hot. Let's go get some ice cream before they get too busy. <laughs> BJ's Velvet Freeze says there's been long lines this July. Um, just like masses of people coming like always busy all the time after dinner we get a big rush um, and then like during the day with people not being in school and stuff like that there's just people everywhere all the time <laughs> but june was a different story staff says it was slower than normal because of the wet weather like bj's the owners at tasty freeze on weber says the heat this july is helping their business so it's been it's been very warm but we, we can handle it. These three friends are vacationing in Colorado Springs and say stopping at Tasty Freeze was a must. Ice cream is the go-to. For them, a little shade and ice cream makes the heat more tolerable. Um, it's totally, it's, it's like so nice. Like I just came back from Michigan. And it's a dry heat. It, yeah, it's a dry heat. It's not like, you know, sweltering, you know, just humid. humid. Yeah. yeah, it's so great here. To keep people cool, BJ's has a drive through option. Tasty Freeze does not, but they did install water misters on their patio to help people cool off. Linda loves a good cone on a hot day. You gotta eat it fast. And soaking up the sunshine before the summer is over. Go outside, enjoy the weather. Because when the winter comes, well, I'll be crying. Both businesses told me that June was a little slow because of the rain, but they've been making it up in July. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Eleanor Sheehan, News 5.